Cool. Welcome to Venture Ventures D&D 5e Actual Play Entertainment Hours. I have a hard time deciding whether it's whether I should say podcast or show or so I'm just going to say something figure out something to say that show general. works for all of them. Yeah, it just sounds weird. Um I don't know. You know, Jake, these are things that you should work out before we get on the mic. Yeah. I'm just I'm just that's my official It's statement. it's true, but uh yeah, I don't because I'm thinking of ways to <laughs> torture and make stories so episode 16 I think you get arrested in singapore if you don't come prepared to your podcast oh god thank well i'm not going to singapore so uh thank goodness for that oh we're not live no we are we're not live right now are we oh yeah oh no. great <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> i was like why no, are we, we talking are. about singapore we can leave that for off the air uh so i'm ep- going to singapore singapore yes for our listeners uh, episode 16, we're back from Turkey Thanksgiving time, and uh, we're going to get Justin is currently looking for a USB adapter because his fancy mic doesn't have USB ports, uh, and uh, he'll be back, but let's do a quick recap of what happened last time on Venture Ventures with the Big Bedfellows. Big Bedfellows are in the Twin Cities of Inista, specifically in the northern city of Innis, and they are members of the Venture Ventures Adventuring Agency and um, did a little time travel, casual time travel, found out that Nihilus, who is not here today, uh, Nihilus' sister, (gasps) who was looking to become a fancy magic user like her brother is, um, left their home in under the sea or on the coast and sought out persons to teach her magic and ran into some hags and got scalped and fingers bitten off. This is in the future. And so once the big bed fellows came back to their current time, uh, they decided to investigate these hags and in the Gid Ward, which is kind of like the orphanage zone. Um, a bunch of orphanages are there, and they've been investigating that for many episodes and figuring things out. And last week, they were exiting the Aspel Arcana and got blood dumped on them. I did not have them make a dexterity save because there was going to be no negative consequences other than just my entertainment because I was obsessed with Poppy at the time. <laughs> and uh, on their w- they made their way back to the tavern that they were staying at to clean off, of course. Caught the eye of a uh, fey lord named Stoppard who was just visiting during the Festival of the Moon. And... Um, he was very, they're a motley crew of adventurers, very intrigued by them. They were covered in blood. He wanted to see what was going on. And eventually they told him they were investigating hags. He offered some help in exchange for playing a prank if they succeeded in their mission. Uh, but the help he offered was a Pomeranian with iridescent green fur that has the ability to uh has the ability to seek out hags eyes and eats them they're like treats to the pomeranian and uh as well as some old cookies he found from baba yaga um so that's the help he gave and then what do the cookies do uh he said that they <laughs> can transform like Whoever the the person who consumes them transforms into something. Uh, it's kind of a gamble. It can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. Yeah, it could be like a a uh, rug, or it could turn them into a giant sloth. So it's just random, and then. Uh, They were rudely interrupted by two hair golems without heads who spit sticky hairballs everywhere, and they dispatched with them 
Aradia and Haughty doing the most uh, cruel strikes upon the hair golems. And uh, that was where we left off with the big bedfellows going to bed. And um, yeah, unless you guys want to uh, retcon that and uh, not go to bed. Justin? Uh, is my mic working? Yep. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, I would like to not go to bed. I would like to short rest with uh, a dagger in my hand and a light cantrip ready or ready to blind people and just be like, get away. And then I, I do that for about uh, two hours and I'm, and I'm, I recover one spell and um, I think I can roll hit die, right? So yeah. I'm going to roll one hit die. I think a D six is my thing. And I don't, I'm just going to keep rolling hit die until I get full. So I'll do, I'll roll once I find my dice, but okay. basically I'm, yeah. And what are Prodi and Aradia doing? So there's piles of hair down there, and uh, do you want to? There's still the you know the piles of the hair golem and uh, Naomi, the owner of the Good Night Moon, Good Night Spoon Tavern that you're staying at, is pretty distraught about the whole thing. There's holes in her in the front of her tavern and broken chairs and a sticky hairball next to Sarah that she dodged and um she's pretty she's like kind of in shock at this point and yeah um Aradia goes over to Naomi and says can I hug you I've noticed that some people are really freaked out by that, so I'm just like asking ahead of time. Yes, what? Yeah, are you? You? Yeah. So and you she, hug her. She just and, like hugs and comforts and like pets her head. And you can you can feel that she's like quivering and scared about what she just saw because she's never seen anything like that, and um, she looks at all of you and is like what did you do what how why did this happen why were they here for you guys you know i feel like anything we say could be used against us in a court of law so i'll just say that they wasn't it good that we were here just to make sure that they were killed uh, that's very true thank you so so much uh are you okay? Are you hurt at all? Is there my anything business. bleeding? No, I'm fine. It's my business. I don't know. Oh, I don't. I don't know how I'm gonna recover. It's. And the guy who was passed out at the bar is still passed out. He didn't notice anything. Uh, and. So yeah, she's like, well, the. The. The police are going to be here. The regulators are going to be here. The police force of Anista. So they're probably heard all this. And then as she's saying all, all of, pr just kind of going on and on, um, this little kind of small uh, human half-elf uh, child peeks in the broken window and is like, Whoa. Did you Hello. guys kill these things? Yes, yeah. we yeah. did. We'll own it. We killed them. It was us. We killed them. Yeah. They attacked How us. Exciting. Yes, yes, we were protecting and defending the people around us, so we're the good guys. Wow. You guys are I... so cool. Are you guys adventurers? We are, yeah. but... Uh, but, um, stay in school. 
Can oh, I, I um, go to school? <laughs> uh, can Sarah reach down and cut off like a, a ponytail or some like long <laughs> strands of hair from the things? Yeah. And then uh, and then hold them up and then uh, just I guess we'll ke- I'll keep them in case like Sarah wants to do something with them later. But she like puts them on to see if they make good extension. <laughs> it's pretty matted and disgusting. Like there's some sort of substance. Uh, that's holding it all together, and, um, uh, and Sarah shakes it. It <laughs> goes everywhere. It's just disgusting. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. But you find so you make a perception check. Okay. Um, <sighs> ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, Seventeen. Uh, there's something moving in the hair and kind of shivering, uh, and you see like a wooden table leg almost, tiny table leg kind of poking out and kind of shaking. Uh, hey guys, there's like a table in this hair for some reason. Um, should we... A table leg. I don't know. It looks like a little <laughs> tiny table leg. Um, you know, like a turkey leg, but a table, just a table. So um, yeah. can I, I'm good, should I pull it or should I knock on it or should I use it as a, a, lay, a cane? Sarah, I want to empower you to do whatever you want with this table leg. Thank you so much. That's the, the validation I needed. Um, so I'm going Girl to take power. the... I'm going to pull the table leg and and try to get it out of the hair. When you do, it kind of jumps back and some of the hair falls away. And you see this tiny little, like, baby four-legged table, animated table, kind of shivering and looking. It, it, it gives you the feeling it looks scared. <laughs> hey, guys, now we got, like, a, a, a Beauty and, Morty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Beauty and the Beast episode. Yeah. Um, Hey, so we've got a table, a full full table, but a small one. What, what do you want to do? Uh, do you think we should talk to... T- Does anyone speak table? Uh, furniture is not a part of my lexicon, unfortunately. Prady tries even after to, all those books. Prady tries to make a telepathic uh, signal and just says, you're safe now. You're and the good guys. It's not... Uh, it doesn't have that much intelligence to to um impart words to you but you and it can't really understand it but you give it the feeling that it's safe you you kind of let it know that it's should be (laughs) you're okay and you can feel (laughs) that it uh calms down it was in a state of panic it doesn't know where it is i i show it that i use coasters (laughs) Poster <laughs> mug just to let it know let it know that I take care of table it, it nudges um, against your leg <laughs> guys this is a little far out but I just wanted to make it very clear that we did not do our intro so I just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of that <laughs> I was aware of that but I thought it was intentional <laughs> oh, no let, we can keep moving on mess. we'll do an outro but I was like having this moment where I was like oh wasn't I going to plug chinchillas this week and then I was like we didn't do our plugs <laughs> We'll do it at the end. Oh no, everything's frozen. Just jump right oh, in. No, this is what I get. Uh, you're still good, Catherine. You're still good. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, you're yeah. good. We'll do it at okay. the end. Um, yes. I would just like to also point out that I don't believe we established that this is a wooden, unweatherproof table. Like it could be, <laughs> <laughs> it may not need coasters. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to assume. <laughs> I should, uh, I could ask. Could like, be like one of those Ikea particle board tables that. Um, I'll, I'll show it like the coaster and I'll get a <laughs> thumbs up or no, like, a, like that. It's, uh, <laughs> it was nudging against you like it was happy to, to see that. And now that it is no longer in a hair golem, it kind of shakes off the residual hair and guck and muck and, um, it's kind of like, if it had a head, it would be looking around. <laughs> but uh, oh. so now what there's... What kind of table is it? 
It's a mahogany, tiny, Ooh. tiny, Ooh. four-legged, mahogany. pretty basic. There's no, like... There's no... How, how many knots are we talking? Are we a lot of knots? Or... <laughs> There's one like, knot at so one end. knotty table. Just one. <laughs> but it's like a, uh, it's a... It gives it character. It gives the table character. Uh, so now there's a baby animated table there. <laughs> and of course. the kid has made his way inside and is like, so what have you guys seen? What have you? Where have you adventured? Where, like, where, what have you done? Uh, you killed hair golems. What else? Niolas takes his hand and puts it on the child's <laughs> face, and like, and the kid's moves still talking the to the side. And the kid's like, but yeah. what have you? But, but like, well, those are um, blue I'm hands. Sorry, we don't have time for this right now. And then like, <laughs> are you a triton? Oh my goodness! I've never seen. I've never met a triton. That's crazy. Can you breathe underwater? Do you have to come up to? Do you have to come up? Still for air? over. His hand is still over the kid's face. Do you know magic too? Do you know water magic? I bet you know water magic. He says, "Listen, uh, yeah, Nihilus is just like okay." And uh, once Nihilus like moves him to the side, he looks at you, Aradia, and he goes up to you. Do you know magic? No. Are you like? Do you? Are you like? Do you punch things or do you kill things with blades and and arrows and stuff like that? Or are you, you like a? I what's, what's your, gets your name? My name's Ganon. What's your? Oh, yeah, I didn't what? ask your name. Ganon. What's your name? Um, Aradia gets really close to Ganon and says, "Ganon, are you a spy? A spy for who? <laughs> you tell me. And oh, if you, if you're a like, spy for anyone, I'm not a, I'm not a spy. I'm like, I live on. This is like. I love adventures. I want to be an adventurer when I grow up. So like, I try to talk to them and. Uh, and you can do an insight check if you want to see if he's lying or not. All of you can. Sure. Yes. Why not? I will do um, that. I also feel like Hottie should be talking to him. So Aradia points. So while she's trying to assess if he's telling the truth, she's like, do you know who you should talk to? This guy. He also loves adventure and Whoa. we can't get him away from us. That's oh, he's no. oh, so no. tall. And Hottie looks down at him. Hello, young man. Um... I'm not good with kids, Aradia. Uh, this is, uh, do you? Oh, then that's very fun. You definitely should hang out with him. Oh, God. I'm covered in muck and hair stuff, uh, child. Uh, have you ever seen a Kenku before? Maybe you should talk to him? And Ganon goes, you guys look so cool. This is like, there's not a human here. This is crazy. And he goes up to you, Prati, and goes, Hi, I'm Ganon. What's your name? I am Prati, he says telepathically. Oh, you're in my head. That's super cool. That's a cool trick. Uh, <laughs> can you, like, wait, can you, like, do I have to say it? Or can you hear, are you hearing what I'm saying right now in my head? Or are you hearing... Up, I hear it. Oh. I say in his head. Cool. Can you like mimic like all the other Kenkus can, or is that like a stereotype? I shouldn't be propagating. No, I can totally mimic, man. Whoa! Oh, champagne bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what champagne is, but it sounds fancy. <laughs> um, just so we're all clear, Aradia rolled a three, and even with her plus six insight, she. Probably doesn't know if this kid is lying. No, or not. you believe you believe he's telling the truth. Like you don't. Cool. Yeah. It would be more fun if I just thought he was a spy. <laughs> I, I rolled a I rolled a twenty four. If that does anything for you, you oh, believe okay. he's telling the truth. Okay, great. He's telling the truth. That's fine. That's easier. <laughs> yeah, that's um, meta knowledge. Radia doesn't know. She just believes. She believes. She just believes the kid. Sarah. Great. I got sixteen. Uh, yeah, you believe the same. Cool. And this kid is, like, super energetic and nonstop. He's got a... One, he's got shaved sides of his head, uh, but one is more shaved than the other. And he doesn't have very nice clothes. Uh, his shirt is a little too big for him. 
and it looks like he turned some pants into shorts, and he's wearing cowboy boots. So um, he's. Kenan, uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from I'm from here. I'm from Innis. But what part of Innis? Oh, uh, yeah. I I'm kind of from everywhere, but right now I am I Duh. am. I try to hang out in the midtown or like I like the Arbor Green because it's so much green and uh yeah yeah but i but i came over here i was just over here because uh this this crew i kind of run with this this uh, i've got like two other friends that we we help each other out and we like find food and like uh you know just protect each other i was over here just just kind of scavenging and then i heard a bunch of stuff and weird noises and i came over here and i was watching you guys fight it outside from outside do you Again, know Auntie do, oh, Nani? Is that is that the one of yeah? That's the orphanage uh, lady, one of the one of the uh, commodores of the orphanage or whatever they call them. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. heard of her. I don't know her. They tried to put me in an orphanage when I was a kid, and then I uh, I got out with my two buddies and and. Uh, Aradia. Um, sort of corrals her little team away from Gannon and Naomi and she whispers and she goes this child is here so we can break into the orphanage. I think we need to use him. I think we need to ask him if there's a back way into the orphanage. I think he can be our scapegoat to be like oh look we're taking a child into this orphanage and then all of a sudden we're there and then we can like you didn't tell him them up. You didn't but doesn't, isn't the hag going to remember us? Some of us, yes. You didn't um, ask him which orphanage. Which orphanage, Gannon? Hey, which orphanage, Gannon? Oh man, you're <laughs> yelling in my head. Uh, it was the uh, Wings of Angels orphanage. It's the one like, it's the one with the blue paint on it, and yeah, it's it's the smaller one, but it's blue uh, Wings of Angels. Oh, the Wings of Angels orphanage. Gannon, love, come here for a second. What um, what was the person like, the person in charge of the Wings of Angels? What were they like? What was their deal? Um, well, the one that, like, I don't remember much because I was kind of young, but I remember that they were nice. The, but, like... I just didn't like being told what to do, so me and my buddies just got out of there. It was. Do you remember the person who ran it? What they were like? Nice. Nothing like. Hey. I just didn't want to. There was nothing. They were just nice. I don't know what you're. What, what else? Gannon, did you uh, did you have frequent nightmares as a child? Mm. No, I was really, I was really scared of blueberries for a time, but that was. Uh, no, still kind of freaked me that. out, but I'm I realized. Interested. Tell me more about blueberries. Why are they well, they're frightening? Weird, man. I they, want to know. They kind of like pop when you put pressure on them, and it's just kind of weird and gross. I may be afraid of blueberries now. Prady <laughs> goes over to Gannon and he starts counting all his fingers and toes and he he sees some wrinkles in Gannon's shirts and he's trying to like straighten out the wrinkles <laughs> in his shirt. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh and there's there's um he's got all of his fingers and stuff. Um but yeah, he's not bothered by you doing that. And he goes, "So what so are you guys so you guys must be pretty powerful. You guys killed these these like golem these hair monster golem things." What what else have you like killed and like looted stuff? Uh, I don't know about the riddle powerful, very quickly. But... What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about powerful. I mean, we did you know <laughs> kill some goblins at some point and some you know some guys hanging out by a beach and some like time traveling like fa- like phasing in and out of you know. Cool. Dimensional beings. Yeah. 
That's no big deal. And but, you know, I maybe want Thoughtful to riddle you, you... very quickly. Cool. Like a ri- like somebody somebody just say, "Hey, you want to hear a riddle?" And you were just like, "Yeah." And you, and you did several it. riddles. Yes, cool. it was like that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, and this animated ta- this baby animated table, Justin is still kind of hanging out with you. And um, if you go, are you st- like, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm looking at the <laughs> table, and I'm. Uh, I'm like, hey, little buddy, and um, yeah, and I, I, I ask the table, like, can you nod or yes and no if I ask you questions? It it looks like it's just not. It's just kind of looking. It it's looking at you. It doesn't have eyes, but it's just kind of like one end of it is to to look up at you. One, it's kind of like crouched and um i like can you move your table legs doesn't do anything it just rubs against your your leg nudges against it sorry for using the word rub (laughs) thank you for knowing that that's what i was grossed out by (laughs) (laughs) um okay uh well i guess we got a pet table now (laughs) so uh (laughs) Um, Let's just make yeah, sure Aradia. we set a rule that the pet table is not allowed on any furniture except he <laughs> yeah. is allowed on tables. That's true, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I uh, uh, I don't know what to do on the table, so I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna take it with me and like <laughs> let it rest on my shoulder. Like okay, a so Aradia, Aradia takes off Marty and sort of like shows Marty to the table to see if that does anything. Not Is Marty the Pomeranian? No, Marty's the um, backpack. Oh. <laughs> the, dead, that, like, the dead backpack that she got from a flump yeah. in, the first, <laughs> yeah. in the first episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll show, I'll show I'm the table to the... I'm still trying to repair. <laughs> I'll show the table to the Pomeranian, but not let it eat unless, like... I just want to see how he reacts to it. Pomeranian <laughs> is not... No reaction. It's just kind of like... Chilling like a dog, a very pretty dog. And um, Ganon is just still talking to you guys. And as this is happening, um, three uh, similarly dressed people walk, kind of peek in. And one of them is a Warforged, which you have seen before. It's just like a... A robot uh, type of uh, being that was created uh, partially by Felix Tricknips and Avner Bree uh, a long time ago during for wars, and some of them are still uh, in are still around and um, survive the wars, and but they have their own will and their their. Uh, their own uh, personality or whatnot, and they come in. Uh, I wave to the Warforged and be like, "Hey, robot! Nice to meet you. I'm glad you have free will." And the other two are just uh, a female with a bow on her back and a, uh, <laughs> a male. With, I wave to her too. Uh, a sword, and they've got black uniforms on it looks like they're the you've seen a few of them around the regulators you've seen more than a few around uh and uh you've seen warforged before so it's not a surprise and the warforged uh walks in and goes who's who's in charge here uh we got a, a call about this disturbance i can see that there's a bunch of gross hair on the ground uh what happened here uh i keep waving as i explain and i say hey i'm sarah and we were here uh, with keeper and i point to the person she's in charge uh but we got attacked by these terrible hair things and uh luckily we were able to get them safely off us but thank you for coming to help and uh uh what were your names again i'm uh seer query and uh, he, Seer Query, okay. S E E R Query. 
and uh, okay. when he he kind of gets he listens to you and then um, nods at his two companions and they go outside and just kind of mingle and talk to each other and wait and Seer Query uh, goes up to um, goes up to Naomi and says uh, so you're the owner of this establishment ma'am and they have a conversation it's essentially she's she's still not as bad as she was but she's still pretty shaken up and her especially about her business being not destroyed but pretty pretty well messed up and he goes uh he gets her statement about what happened and um you hear all this and she's just like, yeah, these hair things came in and started spitting hairballs and stuff. And this group fought them. And before that, they came in covered in blood. And that was weird. But yeah, I think I'm going to ask. OK, uh, she's a little delusional right now because of the attack. So you can't believe everything she says. But make a deception. She is check. right that we were model citizens. Make a uh, deception check. Okay. That I'm a model citizen is that? Uh, well, I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, deception is. Ooh, I have a plus five to deception. I should have been lying more. And I rolled an eighteen. <laughs> so twenty-three. She goes. The the uh, warforged kind of. Um, goes okay ma'am do you want to have a seat uh and kind of guides her to sit down and she's like i want them out of here you you guys can't you guys can't you guys can't stay here anymore uh the, you, you something's weird you guys are weird just please leave and uh, Na naomi saying this to us yeah. or the war yeah okay and seer query is basically this is kind of boring to him, I guess. You can't really tell, but the sense is you get kind of, he's kind of bored by it. Um, Cause there's no action anymore. It's just. The, Can I the, translate for him uh, in zeros? In, is that, uh, uh, no. How would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Let me guess. You don't know One, binary though. Do you? How do Zero. We, right. No. Okay. Um, so. I don't even know Java. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he basically gets your statements and he says, you guys should probably leave. She wants you out of here. I don't want to, I don't want to have to, uh, you know, come back here and deal with this. And um, he uh, hands Naomi his business card, which is a very thin piece of wood. And uh, oh. yeah. It's a nice business card. It's nice and sturdy. I, what? Where'd you get these? I feel like I should get these for my business. Oh, really uh, they just, just standard issue. They give them to uh, all the majors and lieutenants and seers. That's amazing. You know, everyone likes to talk bad about government bureaucracy, but these these business cards are standard. It's like they really take care of their citizens. Yeah. It could it pays to be a government employee. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's fine. Anyways, uh, uh, and then Nihilus says, uh, um, okay, whatever. She, <laughs> this <laughs> crazy lady just made lies about us and then wants to kick us out of her inn, even though we were are you, nice to her. Are you disputing uh, the fact that you didn't fight these monsters or? Uh, no, they're like, didn't we pay to stay at this inn and now she's kicking us out? Yeah. Isn't, yeah. So Nihilus is mad about that. Okay. Because, like, we're, we're honored guests, and she's not paying. And she's not letting us stay. We paid for it. We want a refund, uh, or sir, else let's just go. Sir, uh, I'm sure <laughs> you don't have a right to stay here, but she will give you a refund if you're owed it. And uh, okay. I'm sure she'll... Karate. Aradia whispers... Oh, Aradia whispers, I don't think we've paid yet. Okay, then, uh, Nyla says... <laughs> <laughs> and it says, then we will go, but we will give this a very bad Yelp. 
Okay. Parati has been like collecting the hairballs the whole time. He's got this big, <laughs> big like it's very stack sticky. Of like, hairballs. It's extremely and sticky. It's, he's got like a mound of them in his in his hands. It smells and not terrible. because not because he wants to like win Naomi over, just because it's like bothering him so much. It's like all over the place. <laughs> and then oh, and it smells bad. But once once Sarah says let's get out of here, he just drops them all again. <laughs> <laughs> you still have residual hair on you and and the part of the gunk that's on you. Um get and it smells off. terrible. And hot hottie goes, Well, uh, we've done it, so we need to find another place to stay, I guess. Uh I know of a couple places that may house us if you don't do we, have a do preference. Do we need to stay anywhere if we already short rested <laughs> bath? Is there anything we need to rest anymore? Aradia just like throws every throws down <laughs> all this stuff she's carrying and gently places <laughs> Siren down on the ground. Um, and she goes... When are we going to fight this thing? What 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 are we doing? Uh, when do we attack? I'm okay. going insane. <laughs> Sarah grabs Ganon and holds a knife to his throat and <laughs> says, <laughs> she says, No, no, no that's not who she's talking about. That's not who she's no, about. No, no, I'm sorry. I thought we were well, I thought I was trying to help. Query immediately oh. gets into a defensive <laughs> stance. And you, oh, see, no. and you see, oh, sorry, misunderstanding. And you see okay. his arms kind of open up, and two bolts, crossbow bolts, come out, and they're pointed directly at you in his arms. And he's kind of just like this. And he's like, I Madam, misunderstood. Madam, put the, the knife down. And oh, I put the knife back into my pocket and let go of the child. And Ganon's like. They're adventurers. This is, this is this is exciting. This is like yeah. what they do. Tell them, Gannon, we're your friends. We just wanted to have a little adventure. <laughs> Jeez, robots, <laughs> am I right? This and, is a game we play. And, uh, and I let Gannon go. Query, Query says, uh, "Madam, I'm going to need you to accompany me back to the station." Or, oh, oh okay. Jesus Christ! Are we serious? <laughs> There's Fine. a side quest now. Uh, oh. <laughs> like, well, uh, I say, is that necessary? Can we just you go just put a knife to <laughs> to a friend who, <laughs> to a who child. Is fine with it and is not wanting to press charge? <laughs> and he looks at. The Warforge looks at Ganon, and and he's not phased by it at all. Uh, this Ganon kid seems like he's probably seen some shit. Like, he's not, uh, you know, for better or worse, seen some shit. But uh, Query goes, here's the deal. I don't want to have to handle this... Uh, paperwork I'm going to have to do if I take you back to the station. So why don't you pay for this nice woman's damage to her tavern? And we'll call it even. Oh, this, this hurts Sarah more than going to jail. <laughs> or we can take you how, to jail. How much? How much is this? Oh, you don't have to pay. You didn't just hold a child hostage at knife point. Yes, but we're a team, so she's not in this alone. Oh my god! Um, I kind of like would rather fight a robot than than go to jail. <laughs> there than pay pay. Sarah doesn't give away her money very easily. Can we just uh, fight this robot? So if you you know, I just want you to know the situation. The if you fight the robot, you're fighting the regulators of Anista, which is a police yeah. force. And so if you want to do that, you can do that. But, you know, like, it's not going to just be like fight, kill a, a three cops and that's going to be it. <laughs> well, can we go to jail then? I feel Gannon's like I'd gonna, rather Gannon's not going to learn some bad lessons from us. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look up a few things. Because, like, Sarah's all about her money and, like. You know, like, like if she, if you stayed in an inn and they kicked you out halfway through and you got attacked in the inn, like she wouldn't pay full price to like 
stay at that inn, right? She'd want a refund. You didn't pay for anything yet. You paid for the previous night, but yeah. you haven't paid for this night. But he's asking me to pay now, right? He's asking you to pay for the, for the damage. damage, not for staying. Oh, there. but the hairballs did that, right? We didn't do the damage. You did the damage and defeating them with the hairballs, but the hairballs can't oh. pay. Would well, the we'll hairballs take it up with town council then? <laughs> like, if, <laughs> if we get attacked in a city, like for the city to sue us and like ask us to pay, he's damages. trying to make you a deal, dude. Like, he's not. This is like a side deal. If you're, he, he's like, he's kind of. This is the art it's of like the how deal. How much more time do we? This is Catherine talking. How much more time do we as a gro- group want to let this hag keep getting bigger? Like how? Uh, I mean, it's a question. If you want to go, we can. I was go down to, to jail. I was down to fight her. I don't know. I thought to replay the first episode week <laughs> that I tried to charm her. I was down to fight then. I think. All right. All right, then we went to a library. <laughs> it gives away whatever gold she has, and then she. You uh, haven't even heard how much note. it is yet. <laughs> is it like ten million gold? It sounds like Justin's very miserly as well. <laughs> I tried to play Sarah's character, and she's very stingy. Um, yeah, but didn't didn't the uh, the golems? Didn't they? I mean, they attacked us, but did, would they have attacked that in if we weren't there? You don't know. I mean, it just yeah, doesn't seem like well, it's our fault. That's kind of when I want like a fair trial and like inside <laughs> you, shit you, and like you, I want you, the, the insurance company. Like to play this, <laughs> this makes me laugh so hard that this is the game that you want to play. Where you're like, <laughs> I want to explore the judicial system. <laughs> of yeah. Where's the bureaucratic yeah. deed? So <laughs> I want to. What I find interesting is that you don't grasp that this is not a part, a normal part of the proceedings like you held this is a sep- separate thing there's nothing to uh you know go through a system it's either this he's offering you a deal to not go to jail and go through the system um do you understand like it's like he's yeah he should be taking you to jail for <laughs> holding a ni- that's it that's it there's no there's no discussion Okay. I feel like I, but I feel like the point of being like I'm, I'm a rebel. I would just like kill everyone and then. Okay, you can do that. Would you like to attack? Go ahead. Don't, don't make us waste our no. spell okay. slots and stuff. Okay, before fine. We go to I, the I, I will. I but agree. If you want to go term. to jail, but if you want to go to jail, we'll let you go to jail. Just don't kill anyone right now. Um, right, Naomi, I, I, I take his term. Uh, Naomi says. He query asks her throughout all this because I'm not gonna say query is um, reacting. He queries her. He queries her. He does, <laughs> and uh, she goes. A few broken tables, um, the ceiling scorched, and the windows broken. Okay, and It'll Sarah tries to like haggle. I have, a, I have gold. a replacement table right here. Actually, twenty five gold. Old. 25. Okay. Um, do I have 25 gold? I have, uh, if, what do I have? We have a lot more than that. Um, do I? Okay. Then I paid 25 gold. Okay. And he goes, okay. Is there, is everybody happy now? Just don't stay here. Find another place to stay. Uh, yes. Don't hold kids hostage with a knife. He's our friend. <laughs> he's our friend and he's fine with it. <laughs> Probably. Do you think it was a good idea to do it in front of a regulator? Just, uh okay no maybe not okay because, <laughs> you're you know, hurting her you're hurting because her we're on a time crunch yeah <laughs> only because we're on a time crunch not because i wouldn't deal with this other okay uh <laughs> i mean it's a self-imposed time crunch but yeah yeah <laughs> uh seer query just says oh have a good day citizens and uh try not to get into any more trouble walks out and the gathers the other two officers outside and they follow. We just turn away. We turn away. Uh, Okay. And so it's just you guys and Naomi and this drunk guy who's passed out and Ganon and the animated table and uh, (laughs) Siren the Pomeranian. I'm just laughing because there's so much just extra shit uh, that around you guys um there's still that 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 recon spider right recon spider 
don't we have that like little spider thing that can go do recon for us? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if I. I think I have to summon. Oh, I'm his familiar, thing. her familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have her right now, but I can summon her. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, he can. Once he casts find familiar, he can essentially pop it in and out of existence whenever he wants. Oh, uh, um, so it's not exactly a uh, as much as a of a burden as say Siren is, who needs to be fed and such. I can't read that. Whatever that is. Uh, she, Catherine says her computer is freaking out. Okay. Um, we'll just work on it. Uh, it's fine now. Okay. <laughs> it was literally, okay. you said it out loud and then it was fine. If I need to say oh, it great. again, let me know. I healed it. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, it's nighttime. You know you will be exhausted if you don't sleep. Sarah's not going to sleep, it sounds like. Do you want to follow Hati to... Um, oh, wait, um, wait, we'll be... Literally exhausted, or like like it take an exhaustion point, or do you just mean we'll be? Mm-hmm. And if we do sleep, we'll we'll also take an exhaustion point from the nightmares, right? If you get haunted, remember you only if only, we got haunted. only one of you got haunted per night. Okay, so it sounds like our odds of getting exhaustion are better if we do sleep, or of not getting exhaustion. So so I would like to sleep then. Okay, uh, and Hadi mentioned a place. <sighs> And that is, one second. Are you guys, I mean, are you okay with sleeping? Yeah, I think that's good game theory. I'm all about maximizing my exhaustion level. Okay. Yes. (laughs) So what what do we think is going on with this table? Like, I guess we'll figure out with that whole thing later. Um, Or should we like go on a side quest to find a table magic expert. And by the time <laughs> all this, the, the baby animated table has gone up to all of you and like nuzzled and nuzzled all of you. Should like we a name cat. it? Oh, yeah. Should we name it? Um, Oki? Oh, wait, he's mahogany. <laughs> you're it's friend. Oki? <laughs> well, it's mahogany, I guess. Yeah. Mahog. <laughs> Mahog. <laughs> I like it. You don't want to just call it rich for rich mahogany. Uh, oh, okay. That's yeah. That's fine. Or just too Woody. Rich. Woody. <laughs> that's. It's yeah, your baby. It. You get to pick. Hey. Let's, <laughs> mahog let's is also a, great. Uh, let's do mahog. I think that's fun. Because we meet mahog. riches on the road. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mahog. Good call. Okay. Rich is a very so Hadi leads you. Uh down to um kind of the the uh point in between near the bay um but it's kind of on the border of the district of fortune's favor and the district of pate point and it's a um tavern slash inn and it's got a sign that says the burying maiden and um Looks a bit dingy and haughty, you know, is very, he's a prim and proper minotaur and supposedly rich. And, uh, well, you've seen him pay for stuff, so uh, pay for your getting cured of your haunting. Um, But this isn't the type of place you'd expect him to take you guys. And it's more the type of place that you guys would stay at if you wanted to save a few, uh, silver, uh, and it's a bit dark. It's got, uh, low ceilings. Like Sarah, your, your head is a couple inches from scraping the ceiling and, uh, but it's warm and toasty (laughs) and, uh, you're like on your tiptoes doing that when you don't have to. (laughs) Um, it's pretty full tavern and, uh, the owner behind the bar is um, seems pretty uh, jovial, and um, he's got a uh, a bird on his shoulder, and yeah, you're in the bearing maiden. So we can role play this, or you can just get a room and go to sleep, and we can go to the next day. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, Aradia needs nothing. Okay. Uh, From these people. Okay. Okay, 
so I'll long then um, if you want to roll who gets a nightmare yeah I will in a second oh darn it can Aradia go down real quick and see if anybody um, uh, see if anybody knows about knows the owners of the other two orphanages you just want to Talk to strangers? Is that- <laughs> yeah, she's okay. just sort of wondering. And she's like, make oh, a- kids are great, aren't yeah, they? Sure. Yeah, make, I know. Make an investigation check. Uh, while you're doing that, I'll be right back. Yep, yep, uh, yep, yep. Justin. <clears throat> investigation. Oh, it's not great. Um, do, 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 do. What's my modifier? Eesh, so like six. Uh, well, Pratty Pr- will Pratty will tag along, and let's see my investigation. My I have a plus five investigation. Let's see here. Uh, twenty four. That's two twenty fours I've rolled. It's crazy. That's um, impressive. Nobody's. I find a lot about nothing. So a radius <laughs> down there, and then you join her after a bit, and as you're walking up to her, you can see that people are kind of off or put off by her, and. Uh, for whatever reason. Um, it's because of my skin color. I know. Uh, and, or it could be, it could be both. Uh, Is this like a lobby? It's like a big open, like, there's tables set up and there's a bar. It's just oh. a big open um, space. And you investigate, you help her out, and uh, people are more open and... Uh, all you find out is just that there's a um, there's thieves can't written on a lot of these buildings. From the enumeration, you, there's writing on a lot of the buildings, anyways, uh, that people were trying to save everything from family recipes to histories uh, on their buildings when uh, books were being r- erased and destroyed by the erasure uh but uh one of the people says that there's thieves can't written on a lot of the buildings for various uh uh, thieves guilds that essentially tell them information about the building if there's a secret entrance stuff like that uh and yeah and um do any of you know thieves can't I don't. Um, checking Hottie. I don't think he does, though, but no. Uh, um, I don't know I about have... Nihilus. Oh. Oh. I think... Um, when I leveled up, my languages became all. Leveled up to what? Jake, do you see that on my on my sheet that like my monk ability now it says languages all? I'm looking. What level are we on? Six. Okay. I'm wondering if that's a cobalt soul thing. Which, where are you seeing that? Under languages. Over to the the right side underneath my senses. Hmm. See that? Mm-hmm. Let me check Holy something. F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. Make sure that's not just like an accidental thing. Because in which case, Aradia just got way fun to play. Yeah, Nihilus only speaks common and primordial. Oh, by the way, check out this player's handbook. Pretty cool, huh? Different than the others. Ooh. It's got the new errata in it. Very pretty. Um, hmm. 
And I saw that that was a gift given to you. Is that right? Yeah. It was. That's sweet. Okay. What okay. am I? <laughs> Why can't I? we just uh, right now? We're looking up because I just saw on Aradia's character sheet that she knows all languages, but I'm not I sure that if that's at, just like uh, so. Tongue of the Sun and Moon, starting at 13th level, you learn to touch the key of other minds so that you understand all spoken languages. Moreover, any creature that can understand a language, you can, a language can understand what you say. Uh, but that's at level 13. I don't know why. I'm going to look up. I don't know why either. I think I sent you a, uh, a long time ago, the Cobalt Soul character sheet, but I can do it again later, but I will look it up now just to make sure it's not in the Cobalt Soul. Uh, yeah, that maybe it happens a little earlier. I'm also looking at mine to see if I can um, find it. Are we trying to talk to the table or the robot? Or we're looking. So I went downstairs, and there's like thief, uh, thief writing, thief can't. Is that what oh, it was yeah. called? They were telling you that there's like, in general, different thieves guilds keep thieves. They write thieves can't on various parts of buildings to tell them like it's kind of similar what um train riders would do in the early 20th century where they would mark by houses whether someone was friendly or not um okay yeah i've heard of i've heard of thieves can okay yeah then um i'm not i found you found it no no i found the thing that you sent me so i'm looking to i don't see anything either um, mind of Mercury. No, that's pattern recognition. No, I don't, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it just got added as an accident. Huh. Okay. I'm going to, and I'm not sure. I think thieves can't is a. This is the most interesting right? part yeah. of the show. <laughs> the most interesting part of the show. All because of, <laughs> all because of a, a bug in D and D Beyond. Uh, Wait, so I know. Is there anyone like, oh, what's that, that about? To? Pardon me, Justin. Is is there anyone downstairs that you're talking to? We're not role playing. Yeah, yet. we it's went just, in. Yeah. Yeah, it's we just, went down to see if anybody got anything, but not really. So now we're just trying to so find you just it. saw this. You saw symbols on the wall, but you didn't. No, okay. you talk to people who are just like, well, I don't, I don't know anything about the specifically about the orphanages, but a lot of thieves guilds will write information about um, mm. locations. So, yeah. I, can Sarah shout? Is anyone here a thief? Nobody <laughs> responds. <laughs> no one, no one's a thief. You see, you look a little shady. You sure you're not a thief? Someone in the back goes, "Shut up." <laughs> okay, thanks. Anyways, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so you guys, it costs two gold to have all of you in one room for the night. Uh, That's how we <laughs> like it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just Sarah pays the two gold quietly. Okay, and. <laughs> You take your long rest. Uh, you know what? I got this one. It's fine, Sarah. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, it's <great>. me. Yay! <laughs> that's that's her tactic. Rolling her eyes gets her a lot of free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. There's four of you, so okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Well, lucky you, for you guys. Are there four? What? Can you tell me I'm made? Isn't there five now because of potty? Uh, she doesn't know. Um, oh, okay. Or whoever's doing it doesn't know hottie. Um, oh. So it is Nihilus who wakes up in the morning and uh, <laughs> he looks exhausted as hell, like he hasn't slept a wink. And. Um, yeah. Serves him right. 
Is he uh, extra but, cranky? <laughs> it's like, he's like, yeah, he's, how can we tell the difference between him just, now? He, versus... He's still like <laughs> yeah. cranky, but it's more like there's not energy behind it. It's just kind of like almost indifference. And he's just uh-huh. like kind of spaced out. And uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, can you tell me, do I have to like lean down and speak into this mic or is like... No, you're good. Okay, great. I'll just speak normal. Great. And he loses eight total hit points for that haunting. Oh, no. Um, Wait, am I tracking that? So let me... uh... Okay, I'll write that down. Oh, geez, that's like a third of his hit points. (laughs) Okay. Uh... We'll just be gentle with him in battle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It smells like pizza out here and I just want some pizza. So. Oh no. Where do you guys put your things in the room when you go to a place? Like a hotel? Yeah. When you stay um, somewhere. Like kind of by my bed over to the I, side. I feel, like, I feel like Sarah sleeps with her, all of her stuff on all the time because she's very protective of her materialistic thing. in the I in the single find bed like everyone. a little i find like a little wobbly plank in the floor or a wall and i put my stuff in there and then i close it okay um <laughs> a radio let siren sleep no on reaction <laughs> siren's still with us right because i'm like keeping that puppy like it's real yep and so is Good. the animated table i assume yeah, uh, uh, Mahog. He's uh, he's on Sarah's shoulder, like resting, and and he's like sleeping. Okay. And Gannon, when you guys left, he's like, he was kind of disappointed to see you leave, but he's he was like, I'll see you guys around. Uh, I I got stuff to do anyway. Like you guys were leaving, and he was clearly trying to you know make it sound like he wasn't didn't want to follow you guys, but. Um, uh, Wait, did we ever ask Mahog like to help us or like the table wasn't giving you any responses and Prodi probably I, correct me if I'm wrong Prodi but you would have said told Sarah when you calmed it down that you don't think it can oh wait I'm I'm sorry were you acting out Gannon uh, just yeah, the, the Gannon. Game. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I meant to say Gannon. So did oh, okay. we did we ever ask Gannon to help us on like get into no, the orphanage? Didn't. Or anything? No, you didn't. So you well, have to, like, can, we, okay. can we let Jake say what he was about to say? <laughs> that might have been sorry, important information. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Prodi probably would have told you that the baby animated table is essentially a lizard, in in that it can't give you information really. Does that make sense? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Like, like it, it didn't understand my words, just my emotions, intent. Like your, yeah. your. No shade to lizards, though. Let's just make sure that okay, yeah. everyone knows we're not an anti lizard podcast. Yeah. No, I love alive. Some of my best, best friends memories are lizards. Are lizards. <laughs> 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 yeah. Except Gila monsters. Fuck Gila monsters. Uh oh. Those are the ones you shouldn't be mean to. They can kill you. And I'm questioning whether they're lizards or like <laughs> amphibians or something. Uh, who cares? I, <laughs> no, I, think, care. they're I um, think they're lizards. <laughs> you guys wake up in the morning and um, you're in one big bed. You push the beds together. And um, Siren was sleeping on you. Is that correct? Where would Siren yes. sleep? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, Siren slept on my belongings. Um, we'll say Nihilus slept in his bathtub, his portable bathtub. And that gives him... Actually, he doesn't benefit from the effect of it because he didn't get the long rest. So never mind. And that will teach people to not sleep in the big bed with us because that's when you get attacked. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, next time he'll put the huge bathtub that expands <laughs> on top of the bed. Um, He just needs to be holding our hand so that way our bond is always. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, the morning is yours. You can go and have breakfast, which will be provided complimentary. 
and oh my god sarah gets all the free breakfast that she can get okay yeah you have a uh, um, go ahead oh uh, no go ahead they have some like st- morning breakfast stew um something called humble pie and uh yeah coffee and stuff um so you have that, and the day is yours. Nihilus is r- rough. You've got these pets, and um, yeah, what would you like to do? Over breakfast, Aradia pulls her group together and says, I swear to God, I know normally I'm the one that likes to like wander around and have fun, but if we do not figure this out today... I will kill everything. I'll kill it <laughs> okay. all. And while Aradia is saying all that and expressing her displeasure, Prati, uh, um, you hear a voice in your head who goes, Hey, uh, Prati, it's me. Uh, it's MC. Uh, I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, MC, MC. Oh, I'm so ready to make a deal. Uh, <laughs> and he sounds kind of panicked and a lot more nervous than he was last time you saw him when he was nearly naked and he's just like hey hey uh yeah i I decided not to like you know visit you in person uh because i forgot about the clothes thing and i'm still sorry about that and then uh uh i also can't i can't go back i can't make it to the material plane on exorus anymore like uh but anyways that's a long story um how, how how are things going with you um, pretty good. We're about to take down a hag, I think. And, uh, I found the, uh, uh, the brass rod, a s- s- part of the, uh, the, the weapon that was used against the queen of chaos, uh, the rod of seven parts. Um, and I tried to go to a, I tried to go to a, like kind of a blacksmith and see if he could like a metallurgist and see if he could combine it with my my regular rod that, you know, that I've attuned to myself. And I think you're, you know, you're aware of, um, yes. I'm just, I'm wondering how to use that. If I should use it as part of my regular rod, or if I'm just supposed to just use that piece as my new rod or, um, he's kind of quiet when you're telling him all this. Um, and, uh, you hear kind of like, breathy like surprise noises coming from him when you're telling him all that and uh yeah i haven't had a chance to ask any scholars about it yet because we've been too busy researching this hag so (laughs) he uh says i'm not gonna ask how you got that but it's amazing that you got it uh kind of kind of freaking out a little bit um it's uh so uh i I should just tell you you know i'm i told you like i i work for um did i tell you this i think i told you this did i tell you this uh about uh, that i work like i'm an Averroll and i work for uh basically on mount celestia and and like i work for them and i'm a consort and stuff like that i told you that did i tell you that i don't think so uh surprise no he uh, like he did tell you you're just not remembering oh, um, okay. uh but he <laughs> he doesn't know uh he that's how freaked out he is right now and um one second let me pull up the stuff So he said he was a consort for the Sky Duchess Sathia, S-A-T-H-I-A, and uh, they're celestial paragons of cardinals, and um, uh, MC says, so like I'm trying, I'm working on this other thing. I, I like that you're doing good things still, but you know, sometimes life isn't as black and white as as they make it seem. And so, uh, like I'm, 
I'm working on a thing and I and I, I might need you to help me out on it because I've lost some some people that were helping me and I've lost some of my other stuff and uh, I'm I'm trying to get in the good graces of Queen Mab M A B and uh, she she uh, she's a big fan of gifts and I'm trying to find this I'm trying to get her a gift and. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I, I think I need you to, 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 just, you said that rod thing, I think, just keep, follow that where it goes, um, that's, a, uh, yeah, just be careful with it, and, um, um, yeah, the queen, she's a, a, uh, queen of the Feywild, so, um, she she can be super nice, but also not not so nice. But uh, you know, not everyone's perfect and stuff. Um, he sounds almost like he's he's a bit manic. Um, so yeah, he tells you all that. Are you in imminent danger? Ooh, yeah. Sometimes, uh, not not uh, sometimes. I just have to be careful with what I'm doing. So. Uh, but uh, you know, I just well, what types of what types of beings are a threat to you? Aren't you a celestial? Other, uh, other celestials. Other celestials. And, oh, okay. And uh, you know, anything like uh, like if I if I just don't watch my back, if I'm caught by surprise, or you know, if I'm found any any um. He pauses and he's breathing really hard and he's like, you're the last, you're the last, uh, you're, you're, you're the last one I got. I'll be honest with you, Prodi. And, uh, I, I have no other people that call me patron. And so... It's, I'm not going to tell you to do what I say, but we do have an agreement, and I'm not going to hurt you if you choose not to follow what I say and in the future follow what I say, but you What are, happened to the others that called you patron? They didn't like that I'm no longer... They didn't like that I'm no longer singularly working for the Cardinals, mm -hmm. and I'm just sick of being a consort. Like, I'm not, uh, for Sathya, like, I don't want to do it anymore. And, and, and that's like, I can't read whatever that says, FYI. Um... <laughs> Uh, it says Nihilus, Nihilus trips Aradia and laughs. Uh, Richard wrote this. Okay. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> roll for Nihilus. Um, sorry, I'm interrupting this, Dave. Uh, uh, Nihilus rolled a 19. Disadvantage. Oh, okay. What What is tripping? Is that an athletics? Uh, he rolled a 16. Should be a dex. Uh, and I'm going to add his dex. Yeah, you don't. Um, I'm just going to continue with Dave while you, one. yeah, figure it out. Okay. Um, Great. So he's just like, I'm sick of being, and they didn't want to. Most of the people I was a patron for, I've, I found them. To uh, can you, just can you tell him to stop? It's just me. No, okay. it's just me. Don't worry. I, you're fine. Um. They've been, I've been a patron for them for a while and they're very kind of, they think in black and white and good and bad and light and dark. And I've, I'm, I used to be a di different than I was, than I am now. And, uh, everything's not that simple. And like Queen Mab well, she can help me if, if I can gain her favor and the Feywild can protect me and, 
you know, if, if, if we're able to do this, you'll have a safe place there, I think. And, and, and he's so like, the other, the other celestials think too much in black and white. Some of them, some of them, uh, I can't talk. I, I can't, I've known them for so long that I can't, it's pointless to talk to them about this because if they find out and they disagree with what I'm thinking, they will, they will tell, they will tell Sathya and, uh, you know she's a she's a sky duchess. She's super powerful, and um, she's got you know five five others who form like a group. Uh, the and she's in charge of it, and she could wipe me from existence. So yeah, I'm I'm like freaked out here, Prodi. And um, uh, I MC. I still think you're the you're the best patron I could have because I don't think in black and white either, man. I think you got to get dirty sometimes to help the little guy. And I think know? that's, and yeah, and I appreciate that. And I think that's going to be, I think we may have to do that at some point. And it, 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 I just wanted to tell you that. And I've just been kind of on the run a little bit. So, uh, just keep following whatever wherever that rod piece of broken rod takes you and i'll be in touch and yeah so that's pretty much any other questions no i just godspeed and good luck and uh that all happens quicker than normally so uh aradia is just finishing her <laughs> her uh fall <laughs> her no her diatribe about the uh about doing something about the hags and uh <laughs> and um so yeah i assume you guys were all sitting so nihilus isn't gonna trip you now um but uh yeah so Correct. that's that and you Catherine, you um you can uh, continue with your wanting to attack some hags, or what would you like to do? Yeah. Um, so Aradia goes, um, we need a game plan. What do we know already? What are we going to do? I mean, you know more than yeah. any of us about the hag. <laughs> uh, okay, so the, what, I the say we go in there with some sort of surprise advantage, because I have no yeah. idea what to expect. Well, yes. so there's three. We know there's three potential hags. We don't know if they are, and we know that, um, like, so maybe like getting them one by one. So let's let's maybe take out one of like get one of the other like lesser people that as opposed to the main person maybe. Well, also, I would I would I don't want to I don't really want to fight them on their turf. So if we have some way to get one of them out of the orphanage and then fight them. Okay, and can we use Ganon no, to help us? Like, like maybe he can like fake uh, distress and have like draw her out of the yeah. orphanage or something. Yeah, I'm all about. Yeah, that. the Wings of Dawn orphanage seems to have wanted him at one point, so maybe it's something that it's like Wings of Angels. Listen, we have this kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were we supposed to roll um, to see if we uh, were were had nightmares last night? It. Uh, you've been. You've noticed you've only it's only been one person per night, um, and I rolled for and it. And it was nihilus. Oh, okay. It was nihilus. Got it. Mm -hmm. So, um, does that sound good? I then? like so this we'll, idea. Yeah. And how are you going to um, do that, Prodi? Can you um, can you contact Ganon? Do you still have mind link with him? Like, could you find him mentally? No. No, you have to be pretty close. You have can to be shout? like within shouting distance Ganon. of. So can, we, no, can we spend the morning looking for him? Sure. He's out. I don't care about Ganon anymore. No, I'm just okay, kidding. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, um, I don't wanna... Where did he say he was staying? We did hear... He he talked to us about where he was. Oh, he likes the gardens because they're pretty. So maybe we can go to the... Um, Mm, the green place. What is that? Sound like he was living on the streets. 
Yeah, but he said specifically that he liked um he liked going to um yeah, let's go to the gardens. Sure. And yeah. you can like ask around and shout like Gannon. Hello. He did Gannon. mention um the Arbor Green as well as another place, but you can uh start at the Arbor Green. Make yep. an investigation okay. check. You can either um, if you're all doing it, then just do it with advantage, one of you. Ooh, okay, I rolled a natural 20. Oh, okay. nice. Let's go with that. Okay. Um, he's not in the Arbor Green, and you're positive he's not there. Okay. Great. I don't Does remember, the other, remember what the other place was. <laughs> Me neither. I don't remember. Me neither. Uh, Darn it. Uh, it was, I think it was, we got to let him go. Uh, okay. Nihilus goes... Midtown? Didn't he say Midtown, which is right next door? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Love and that that Nihilus remembers those things. Okay. Uh, uh, go to Midtown for him there. Yeah, you're kind of breaking up, Justin. Um, uh, we go to Midtown and we look for Ganon. Okay. Um, I rolled... I don't think it's your microphone um, oh, doing it. It's my oh, connection. Sorry. New problem. Um, a radio got sixteen. Um, one sec before you guys do that. I need to pull up. I want to look at your passive investigations. Hurry up, computer. All right, passive. Radia. 10, 10. Prodi's got a good passive. And Sarah's got a little better. So yeah, you're able to track down uh, Ganon, who is uh, in Midtown, and he is... Uh, kind of by the cliffs. So at the edge of the city overlooking the Grimheart River, uh, he's out there and he's going through some trash, looking for things. He's got... Uh, Sarah shouts, don't jump! We love you! <laughs> and he kind of <laughs> looks up and looks around and he's like, oh! Oh, oh, your name was Sarah, right? Uh, or is that it? Yes, my fake, I mean, my real name is Sarah. And, um, oh, what are you guys doing down here? Are you here to, to look for cool stuff, too? Uh, yes, we're, and you cool are cool. The cool stuff we're looking for is you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I feel icky. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we're basically like can we offer him candy to come with us or something <laughs> we're offering him a thing he really wants which is adventure we're letting true, Hottie true. do this just because this is yeah. a kid you know I what mean, this is the best anyway. adventure is, of all is when your life is in danger <laughs> uh, so <laughs> which one are you rolled and not be creepy which one of you are talking to Ganon are all of you talking? We're all talking. Okay. I feel like Sarah, all three of us me. all three of us are individually shouting at <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We're efficient. Awesome. Wait, so what do you guys you guys want me to come with you or something? There's adventure. I like adventures. What's you guys see or yes. adventures, that's cool. Uh, yes. What, Would you what? be interested in being a decoy for us and pretending to go into an orphanage? Oh hell yeah. All right, let's go. It. Great. All um, right, we go. <laughs> we're going right now. And this kid is like, you can tell he looks up to you guys, and he's like, almost like your heroes. Oh, don't tell me that. Stop and, it. No, don't um, say that to it me. It was obvious. We can't get this kid killed. We can't get this kid killed. And I don't want to think about it. <laughs> he's like very talkative still, and he's like, oh, man, you guys, this is going to be great. I'm not going to let you guys down. Uh... He's like, so tell me what I need to decoy. 
or how do I decoy? We're going to be outside the orphanage, okay? And we're going to... Which one? We're going to... The Wings of Angels. That's the one he was... That's the one where he was, right? Is is it the same Uh, one? The same one where now it's the sisters? Didn't we want to start... Didn't we want to start there? um, Because Uh, we wanted to not go straight into... We suspect that all the orphanages have a hag running it? Yeah, or that they at least have some weird thing that they're the three are connected in some way that they okay. that they're probably yeah, a coven. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Are we, and are we trying to like like just like just cast the spell and shoot them immediately, or are we trying to like find out if they're a hag or like? Is no, we. Deject- oh well, as soon as you try to do a spell on them, you'll know that they're not a human. Oh, great! Let's do that. Oh, and Aradia wants to um, sneak attack because she can do the um, extort the truth where she can find out. Um, yeah, that's not. Oh, that's not. Or sneak extract attack. aspects. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Extract aspects. That's what she wants to do. Uh, it's oh. like. How are you going to get to that point? Mm-mm-mm. I think uh, we so have. That's what we're formulating Ganon. now. <laughs> yes. I think Ganon should be distracting the orphanage and then a radio can come up and like very aggressively trip behind <laughs> person <laughs> to so basically, basically you hold this your is fist like, like right next to your head and then you tap her <laughs> yes, on the shoulder uh-huh. what uh-huh. <laughs> so you know you oh darn i have to do fl- i know i was like i have to do flurry of blows first yeah. so you have to punch the so shit I'm out just of somebody gonna aggressively <laughs> do this <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah so um are we doing like the same thing, like like a like mission two of the lemonade stakeout kind of thing, where we're like yeah. hiding outside? Okay, so so that kind of thing again, but this time like, are we in disguises and stuff? Or like that didn't work very well last time, right? Because <laughs> they just looked right at. Um, yes, because we all rolled horribly. Um, oh, okay, but. So, uh, I do think, like, I, I think that for Ganon, if we maybe, like, should we be putting him into one of these orphanages to see what the deal, like? Wait, are you saying that he normally is Wings of Angels, or he just went there once? No, or? he escaped. They wanted escaped. him to be, like, they were trying to put him in an orphanage, and he was going to be put into Wings of Angels. Okay. And then he was like, fuck this, I got better stuff to do, and then he went somewhere oh, else. So, so if he just showed up on the doorstep and said, hey, I changed my mind, was foolish to deny your help, I really want to accept your uh, help and become part of the orphanage, they would, like, be excited about that, right? Yeah. So you want so him to go that? to the one that you... The, you want him to go to the wings of of angels that you're not. Well, now that now that I know that I can't do extract aspects in a sneaky way, I think we should send him to the auntie nanny one, so that way we can kind of hear what's going on in that okay. one. Okay, let's do that. And we we already like feel more confident that auntie nanny is gray than the other two people. That's what you broke up again. I'm sorry. Uh, I feel like we're. I'm more confident that Auntie Nanny is a hag as opposed to the other two. We don't know For that much sure. about. Yes. Okay, so I'd, I'd feel better attacking her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, How cool. are you feeling so, about that, Prady? Are you okay? Yeah, I feel really good about that. Okay, great. Awesome. And are we like? Are we gonna? So we're gonna be hiding this whole. So sorry. Uh, Auntie Nanny is in charge of the Sugar Plum House, and that's also the same place that Annalyn works at. And, uh, yeah. Can we send either, um, can we send in with Ganon either Siren or the, uh, familiar, your familiar, Sarah? Pucker, yeah. Pucker, so that way he's just not going in alone. That, That he has something that, like, has a I, my feeling is yeah. pucker because then you can like see what's happening has auntie nani yes. experienced pucker yet i don't think she I knows had pucker with us or did she i don't think so. well i was in disguise that time that she saw me she knows um, about pucker um because oh. 
you had the hag, the um, the eye on you for all that time, so she knows a lot about it. You guys know that once Siren found that hag eye thing that Sarah was carrying around, uh, you think that... Actually, make a general intelligence check. I mean, at, at the Wings of Angels, I don't think they ever saw me. So, I'm like, Prady could go in, but Prady just by the by just being a Kenku kind of raises Catherine, suspicion. Catherine was saying, though, not to go into Wings of Angels. She was saying to go into Sugar Plum House. Oh, okay. Um, mm-hmm. So, what did everyone roll in their general intelligence checks? 17. 12. Uh, God and- damn! <laughs> I rolled a one. I gotta see what my modifier is. Nihilus got a oh, two. Oh no! Uh, Sarah and Aradia, you would think that like when Siren found that hag guy and ate it, um, and Stoppard told you what sh- what Siren does, that the hag or hags knows a lot about you guys has been with you since you were on the beach Mm. minus um i'd have to check on this because i don't think it works in time travel situations but so anytime you've been in so on the beach before you time traveled and then after you came back she could have she could have seen anything there so, so we kind of have to send Ganon in alone because she would also know who Siren is. Um, well, and also but, Siren would attack her eyes immediately. She could know who Siren is. She doesn't necessarily... She, it's highly unlikely that she was just focused on you guys for 24-7. Why does, so, the, why does Ganon have to go into the orphanage? Why can't he just pretend yeah. to be hurt outside the orphanage? Well, you then, know what? I, I'm thinking that, like... So we we have a dog that can like t- tell us immediately if she's a hag or not, right? Because won't no. the dog like a? T- he won't. No. Um, it's Siren just eats hag, hag eyes, eyes. Right? right? So those. So, so okay. So if her eyes are <laughs> that of if a, she's hag. a hag, and she's looking at him, won't sure. he like attack her? Yeah, like if she's in disguise, she will want to go look or try to get to him. But, like, there, if there's a hag eye, because she can detach them to see and hear remotely, um, okay. she might do the same, and it might give you a false reading, right? Does that make sense? Like, if that I hag eye... Of, <laughs> okay. I kind of feel like we should send Siren around right where we are right yeah. now, just to make sure there's no hag eyes around. Okay, you uh, do yeah. that, and um, she sniffs around doing her dog thing and doesn't seem to get excited about much licks up some crumbs but doesn't so you're confident there's none around you so i i would kind of like i'm wondering maybe like a a plan would be to like kind of like truffle hunting we like follow siren looking for hag guy around the orphanage and like maybe we don't find her, the hag, but we found some hag guys, and we. I just like that them. idea a lot. Yeah. And so we keep going we, until we eat every eye in the city. <laughs> so we're distracting Auntie Nani with uh, Ganon out in front of the the orphanage, and then we're. I don't even think we're distracting the orphanage. Oh, okay. Because she's not going to let us into the or- orphanage with just us. She doesn't like us. Yeah, that's true. So the, we have, okay. of course, no, we, I'm if saying we're going, if we're going to do the hag guy eating thing, why do we even need a distraction? We can just go around the go around the orphanage doing that. How are you? Hottie goes. How she are we going to get in the orphanage? orphanage? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what what if, if, he was saying Ganon, outside the orphanage. Oh, oh yeah. So what if what if Ganon takes Siren because he's a kid, so he can orphanage, right? Or at least she doesn't. She won't suspect him immediately. Some part of me is really afraid of having getting, Siren on her own without somebody yeah. who can protect her because if that dog dies, we are fucked. Stoppard will uh, kill us. Okay, okay. Uh, well, then, yeah, well, can we walk around outside the <laughs> not go in yet and look for hag guys and then do that for like maybe we limit ourselves for one hour and then we go back to the original plan if that isn't working? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I like doing like that. that. Yeah, let's do sure. that. Yep. Um, okay. So you 
go to the Gid Ward and you go outside the Sugar Plum House, as well as the Cradle of Mercy, as well as um, the Master of the Little or Little Petals Home, and then um, so you're just do you have so you have Siren on a leash or something? Yeah, we're like travel hunting. Like he's on a little leash, and we and I've got my purse so and my little thing, table. One thing you around. notice immediately is like when you walk up, there's no kids outside playing. And um, there are some new statues outside that weren't there before. Statues of what? Just like gargoyles. like um, Just turning the orphans into gargoyles. Oh my gosh, I bet. Can, I, can Aradia do a perception check to figure out um, if she's seen something like this before? Well, you know about gargoyles. Um, you can tell me, like, have you've seen gargoyle statues before? But what are you? Are asking? they? Are they? Are they like actual gargoyles or gargoyle statues? Do you get the difference? Like, are they things you don't that know, turn into they, gargoyles? You don't know because you touch them and they're stone. Okay. So they're inanimate until they're mm-hmm. not. Can can we like lift Siren up and like have him sniff the statue? Yeah, she's not finding anything, but she does key on some areas high up on the buildings. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. cool. Can we so we're climb being a roof? On, and, the buildings, I guess we're not like, on the buildings opposite of um, the orphanages, uh, kind of where Aradia was when she was staking out. By the way, it's oh, sunlight, cool. Aradia, so if you're in sunlight, remember that. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so go ahead and make Can we, a... Oh. So you want to get up there? Which one of you I is like going to do I stealth, like stealthfully, so I want to sneak up on the gargoyle eye. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not on the gargoyle. It's on the opposite side. The gargoyle. I'm are, sorry, the, the roof of the building. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you you were already in front of the building, so if anyone was looking okay. out, they already know you're you're not. You didn't tell me you were stealthing, so. Um, okay, but okay, yes, I go inside the building, climb up the stairs to the roof, and then get on the roof, and then go to where the eye is, and then uh, hold the dog towards the eye. Okay, the eyes are kind of like halfway down the building. They're not on. They're on tiny little ledges. So how are you going to get down? You want to make a? You want to climb? Okay, down? I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I, I go to, no, I take the stairwell uh, to whatever floor. I know they're on because I saw them from outside. And I go to that stairwell. And then is there any way to, like, get to the ledge, like, through a window or a fire escape or something? Sure. You, you go to a door, and um, you think this might be where it is. You, to the best of your ability, you think that this might lead. You don't know the layout of the floor, but you think this is your best guess. Okay. Knock on the door, and someone... Uh, opens up and they're scratching their eyes like they might have just gone to sleep like they have a night job and uh, uh they go hi hey can I help i'm uh yeah hey sorry to bother you i'm sarah i uh, i was scouting the neighborhood and i noticed there's a really gross um hornet's nest outside your window on the sh- on the ledge there and i thought free of charge i would take care of that for you get it done so that you don't have any terrible infestation okay. is that do you have it? it'll take about two minutes sure. is that okay sure make Great. a make a persuasion check it'll be a very low um okay. dc Ooh, um persuasion uh seven <laughs> Very low DC. Uh, she lets you in. Um, she's yeah. m- uh, so you go to the window and you see it's just right outside the window and um, you don't see it, but Siren is keying on it and uh, you hold her out to where Siren wants to go and it looks like she grabs something and then is chewing and swallowing. So you got that. Great. All right. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we care go i'll let you uh thanks thanks a lot and uh and then walk out and as you're coming back down um uh make a perception check uh not sarah but uh nihilus prodi and aradia and hottie 
Okay. Here comes the music from the Christmas uh, festival nearby. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine for Hottie nine. Got, Hottie got. Hottie uh, got seven. What did Aradia get? Oh, God. Aradia got nine. That's what I rolled. It's not that bad. <laughs> no, she got three, and then uh, she has plus six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. And uh, so you got that Haggai, and um, what else do you want to do? You want to continue searching? No. Does I want to fight the hag. Okay, let's uh, whatever you want to do. I, I I agree. Let's just I, like I do. We just want to run into the orphanage and start casting fireballs. Like I still like not. the idea of just making Ganon pretend he's hurt or something. That way we have some chance of surprising the hag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So while you guys are, are we worried about like city guards or like you know like because technically if we're breaking and entering and attacking. People, so city. while you guys are doing that, um, you see ideally. If we can get into the orphanage, by the way, that would be great because I am in sunlight. So just okay. throwing that out there it, for strategy as we move forward. Out in front of the orphanages, um, you see uh, three burly humanoid uh, figures. One is a Goliath and one is a human and one is a half orc and they look rough and tumble and they're coming your way, and um, yeah, they're looking straight at you. You got, they're yelling at you to, uh, asking you what you're doing, and telling you you need to leave now, unless you want to get hurt. And yeah, they don't look like they don't look like uh, regulators. They look like just thugs. Mm, let's see. What do we want to do with these guys? Are you going to respond to them? Hey, we're, uh, what do you mean? What do you What do you think we're doing? Like, we're just here, like checking out this orphanage. We're not doing anything. I don't care. Get out of here. What level would you say you are? <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll initiative with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna roll. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, okay, I rolled an eleven and a um, and a seventeen for Nihilus. Okay, Aradia and Hottie. Oh, I didn't realize that was for everyone. Um, Aradia rolls a... An 18. And Hottie rolls... <laughs> Hottie rolls... Where is his initiative? A three. I rolled a seven. Seven? Seven. Seven. Okie dokie. I'm quickly Googling what a sorcerer is. <laughs> <laughs> Aradia, okay. you, um, you have, they're coming to attack you. They're acting very aggressive. And um, uh, the center creature is a Goliath and it is running straight for you while the others are kind of spreading out. With a okay. long sword. Um, um, yeah, can we 
can we get like sorry can you so there's three of them and the goliath is running at a radio where where is everyone else positioned so imagine like a we're just in we're just in the street right in front of the orphanage uh, it's probably like 40 feet wide between the front of the orphanage and the building and it's long and so on to your one side you have uh the orphanages and to the other you have those buildings that sarah just went in and came out of and um uh yeah they're coming straight towards you and the goliaths in the middle and the half orc from your perspective is uh on the right and the humans on the left Aradia is going to try and run up um, the Goliath, like run up his body, like Mm -hmm. do one of those, like, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon moves. So she's going to try and run up his body and um, uh, (laughs) kick his head. Um, uh, Aren't you pretty big yourself? Do you even need Aradia's? Already is five five. She's like oh okay. I thought you were well, you're taller than me, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's short for an elf. Um, okay, so um, so Pratty and uh, Sarah's just kind of off to the side near those other buildings, and then Pratty's just behind like right behind you. You guys are in, all in the same area by this time. Sarah has rejoined okay. you from with Siren, uh, still carrying Siren. So. Got it. And still carrying um, the animated table somewhere. Where are you carrying the animated table? Or would you have left the uh, animated table at the room? No, it's on me. Like, uh, I was carrying it on my shoulder. Okay. But I could put him in my purse or whatever if he wants to hide. It's up to you. Go ahead, um, Radio. Yeah. Okay, and then for um, when I'm in light, am I ro- I'm rolling with disadvantage, right? Correct. So I'm doing yeah. two rolls? Okay. Yep. Okay, so we got 12. Okay, so I got 8 plus 7, 15. Okay. Uh, That won't quite do it. It, uh, He kind of shrugs you off and you miss your kick. Um, do you have any other attacks you'd like to do? Hey, if, uh, if I could suggest, uh, I didn't see uh, that. Ter- what did you hold up? Me? Did you hold something up? I'm sorry. No, no, it's just my notebook. Oh, okay. Um, if you could use the rest of your speed to just back away, cause I want to do a group attack. So I don't want you to be in. Okay. Fight. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I'll, I'll run back. So that's it. It's for a radio. Okay. So Nihilus's turn. Okay. Uh, Nihilus is going to cast. Um, let's see spells. Nihilus is going to cast. Uh, first, he'll cast Mage Armor just to give him some protection because he's low on health. So, um, so he does that, and that's uh, his action. So what's his oh, bonus? That's his. Yeah. Oh, okay. So mage armor. So um, I'll have to look up what mage armor, but it affects his AC, right? Yeah, it's thirteen and plus then, Dex, I believe. Okay, great. So his Dex is one, so he has fourteen AC then. Okay. Great. He has a bonus action and movement. Okay. Um, bonus action. I don't think he has any. I don't know if he has any bonus actions. So I'll just forgo that. Okay. For now. And then I'll do, um, for his movement, I'll have him walk away, like, farther enough away uh, that he can still attack from afar. So, like, 60 feet away or 59 feet. Cool. Um, what's your dexterity modifier, Sarah? Uh, my uh, zero. Okay. So the guys running, the thugs are running at you, and they're going to go before you. They have the same initiative as you. And... Um, Goliath guy is going to go after you, Aradia, with his long sword. 16 hit. 
just hits. She, her armor class is 16. Okay. And where's that dice? Okay. He swings down and uh, gets a piece of you for six damage um, with his okay. long sword. And the half orc is going to continue on uh, and try to get at um, Prodi with his longsword. And he fumbles with his longsword as he's coming at you. Uh, he's like trying to grab it. And he's looking up at you, like trying to, he fumbles it, but he's still trying to keep an eye on you. And, uh, Almost drops it. Uses his action to do that. So that's his. Deal. So is he? Is he anywhere near me? Yeah, he was running up to you, but he kind of he was like okay. running up, intent to attack you. And then as he was pulling out his longsword, he was fumbling, and so he'll be within melee range of you when uh, when it's your turn. And so doesn't that mean that I have an opportunity attack against him? If he would leave that range. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so the human is going to go after, let's see, well, I guess Sarah, and Ganon is hiding off to the side. Uh, okay. What's your AC, Sarah? Uh, 10. Okay, doesn't matter. This guy sucks. He does the same thing. Um, fumbles with his sword. These guys don't look, they were intimidating as they as you saw them for the first time, but now that you're... Seeing them in action, they look like uh, kind of inept a little bit. And so uh, he s- grabs his sword and um, you easily dodge out of the way of his his uh, attempt to stab you. And it is your turn, Sarah. Okay, great. Um, are they, So the two humans are right next to you? Uh, Say that again, you broke up. The, the two humans are next to each other or near each other? There's only um, one human. There's only one human. Oh, okay. Um, okay, then... Sarah everyone's can... together now. Like, everyone's in a big melee because they ev- all three of the enemies, like, went right up to us and tried to attack us. So. Okay, so I can't do, like, an area of effect thing. Cause I would hit no, I can't do mine either. Well, it would affect okay. us too, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, I will cast... Um, Dragon's Breath. Uh, and so that one, wait, I clicked it and I cast it, but it didn't tell me what it does. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, you touch one willing creature, so I'm going to touch myself and I'm going to do uh, f- uh, <laughs> fire. I touch myself you, I and I, <laughs> I, I uh, do uh, f- uh, poison because uh, I'm a poison person. And um, until the spell ends, I, I can ex- scale, ex- exhale uh, poison energy in a 15-foot cone. Um, so can I sh- move my mouth towards, uh, like, like so that they're in the cone, but try to get away from us? So, like, like if yeah. I have to point towards the air? Okay, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to attack one of them with the cone. And, and he see. rolled a, for his deck save, it's a deck save, I believe. Yes, dex save throw. Okay. You rolled a uh, 13. What's your DC on that? Um, my DC... Not written on here. Bell. Huh. This... These, these charts are different than the ones I normally... Uh, where's my DC... Spells um, save DC. It should be. Uh, so, so it should be hit slash DC under whatever the action save. is, right? Okay. So, uh, spell save DC is fourteen. Okay, so he doesn't save. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. If you guys, okay, when you uh, roll ten. Oh yeah, ten poison damage. Okay, when you roll, just go ahead and roll your damage as well to speed things up. Okay. Okay. He seems very affected by this. He is not looking very healthy. 
uh, right now. And do you have a bonus action or anything? Or you used your bonus okay. action? Oh, you know what? That was a bonus action. So let me use my regular action then. To activate uh, it was your bonus action and then to spit the poison was your action or what? Is that how that works? It says it says casting time one bonus action. Um, and then it's an action. Until to use the it. spell ends, each creature... Use an action to exhale energy. So yeah, can you use, use your, an action. You've used okay. them. Do you want to move? Okay. If you move back, it'll have an opportunity attack. If you can stay there, though, if you would like. Um, yeah, I guess I'll stay because I don't want to get attacked. Okay. Uh, it is Prati's turn. Uh, since everyone's in a big melee, so who who did Sarah just do damage to? The human. Yep. Okay. Uh. Guess I'll help out with the Goliath. Um, I will just do good old fashioned Eldritch Blast on him. Okay. So, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, so, let's see here. I rolled a two, and I believe I add seven, so nine. Spell, yeah, that spell just, attack. That won't do it. Yeah, fuck. You have um, two bolts of those, don't you? Yeah. So you can use another one on him if you'd like. Okay, that's what I'll do. I do I roll for each of them? Yep. Nice. Uh, 19. Okay, that will uh, do it. Go ahead, and, did you, go ahead and roll your damage. Eight. Okay. Oh, man, the music's really starting... Uh, I can't hear it. I can't hear it at all. I'm sure my yeah. mic will pick it no, up. No, not at all. Okay. Um, I don't hear it at all. Okay. That rocked him pretty good. The force damage of it knocked him back a bit. And it looks like his the wind is knocked out of him. And do you have a bonus action or movement? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just... Uh, for a bonus action, let's see. Um, I will, to, so, uh, Aradia took some damage, right? So I can use, mm -hmm. uh, what's your total health and like how badly uh, you hurt? You wouldn't know that, so, but uh, okay. like, um, what, you, can, you, can, guess, you don't have it? to heal me. You don't, I don't need to be healed right now if you don't want to, okay, if you so want you to, I'll take it. So essentially like I look at her and she doesn't, I don't perceive her to be in. Yeah. Unless she's below half half her hit points then you can say like she's looking bloodied or rough or whatever got it okay um okay so nihilus might be the one to to heal because his he, max remember? hit points went down oh, so he down can't. got it just kidding yeah i'm good okay uh it is hottie's turn all right oh, hottie okay Go ahead. Go Justin. ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you were, you said um, so when Nihilus had twenty two, max twenty two hit points. You broke up again. Wait. I'm sorry. Say that again. Yeah, it uh, was when, max twenty two hit points. Oh, now. okay. Good to know. Okay, great. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So the um, Hadi is going to go up to the Goliath and try and just shove him because that's a thing that he can do, and it and made me that, laugh to think of yeah. him. Well, he's with his head him. or his horns or what? Um, yeah, with his horns, like he's gonna go, uh, okay. yeah, like that. Okay. What needs to happen um, for that? Oh. Well, darn, that's not a thing that he did, uh, because he only got, um, do, 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 do. oh, you were attempting to use Goring Rush, is that correct? Well, I was trying the unarmed strike. Um, oh, okay, that's fine, but uh, but it was 13, so. Yeah. I don't think that works. Nope, that okay. won't do it. Um, and uh, does he have another attack? or? Um, I don't think... Did he get two attacks? I don't see... I know on my sheet where it says how many attacks I get, I can't see on his if he gets more yeah, he than has, one. Yeah, he has two attacks. He has two attacks. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and um, uh, try a... Um, Great weapon master attack? No, that's a bonus action. Uh, 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 uh. 
uh, 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 uh. What do I want to do? I think I'm just going to try and um, glaive him. Kay. Glaive it. Glaive it real good. Mm-mm-mm. Stop. Oh, my gosh. My surface is like bouncing the die all over the place. Okay. Um. Oh, good. 20. Natural 20? No. Okay. Yeah, that'll 20 hit. after. Go ahead and roll your damage. Um, oh, that's right. And he's 10. Okay. Uh, he got uh, 10. 10 damage. And that will just about do it. Uh, how do you want to chop him up? Um, I think we're going to go ahead and, um, uh, maybe he puts the glaives on his horn and just like thrashes the horns around with, I don't know that you can do that, but it's fun. (laughs) So I'm doing it. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) So he stabs him with the glaive on his head. Yeah, no, so first he stabs him with the oh, glaive, okay. and then he, okay. like, puts the glaive and on his this head. This is and celebration. Just, like, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I've done it, you foul creatures, you thugs, you scallywags. Um, Hotty takes out the Goliath, half-orc and human uh, are still up, and we're back to the top of the order with Aradia. Okay, and Aradia is... Um, okay, so Aradia is going to go to the human, or is the half worker or the human closer to uh, Sarah? Doesn't matter. They're, They're same equidistant. Distance. The half work and the human are equidistant. Okay. Then you know what? I'm going to go to the um, half work and take my quarter staff and um, uh, try to make him suck it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got a nat 20, but I have disadvantage, so I have to roll another one. Ooh. I know, that was painful. Oh, not bad. Um, 18 um, plus 6. So, roll your yeah, damage. 20. That hits. Yeah, okay. Um, He's still uh, fumbling have, with his sword. <laughs> uh, 4 damage. Okay. Or, hold on, wait. Should I be doing a d6 or a d8? No, d6, because I'm with disadvantage so yeah yeah d6 is for uh, one armed uh or one-handed use of the quarter staff uh oh, okay two-handed um, use of the quarter staff would be a d8 if I, if my memory serves me correctly yes it does she she was two-handing it so, so i'm gonna roll, roll that d8. Uh, uh, oh yeah um that is 11 Ooh. okay he gets rocked by this and um you think you broke his eye socket with it, and he's not looking healthy. He stopped. Fi- uh, he, that allowed him to finally grab a hold onto his longsword, so you helped him out there, but um, he would have anyway. So, uh, okay. Do you have anything else you want to do? You want to hit him again? What do you want to do? Um, I do want to hit him again, but I think it's just going to be another unarmed strike. I don't want to spend any of my key points yeah, on these that's guys. What you're, that's what monks do. Yeah, so let's do it up. Um, okay, 17. Uh, three. Damn it, shit. Um, uh, I hate disadvantage. So 10 on that one. Won't do it. You're Okay. You're so excited by crushing his eye socket uh, that you... Uh, <laughs> and the sun peeks out from a cloud at the same time. and. Fuck you, son. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Nihilus. Okay. Uh, Nihilus says, uh, this is for my shitty sister. And then um, <laughs> and he casts Ice Knife. And um, he um, throws an Ice Knife at um, <laughs> whoever the bad guy is that's alive. Uh, the, the one human on the, and the human. The human and the half worker. Uh, is, is there one that's like the human not looks near more ha- healthy? Okay, I'm gonna shoot the human. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so the so the um, 
I do a ranged spell attack, so I'm going to, and I have a plus six. So, okay, 13, so 18. Yep, that'll hit. Okay, great, so it's a 1d10 piercing, so I get a 10, ooh. I don't know if I have a 10, do I? Oh, okay, yes I do, uh, it's. Yeah, it looks like this little guy. The flying saucer. Yeah, it's the weird one, okay. Um, three. Oh no! Wait, that was on a that was on a slant. Can I re-roll it? it was wait, like, you uh, mean it was cocked or it was, was it? cocked? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'll just say it was three. It's it hard to three. cock a ten. Well, it was on a piece of paper in like a. Then no, like re-roll that. that. Re-roll it. Okay, I'm gonna do it on hardwood. Uh, okay, zero. Is that ten or is that zero? Yes, that's a ten. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> Thank goodness. So okay, this ice great. knife goes right through um, the guy's throat and out. Yeah. So he is down. What else does he... The ice knife... Does the ice well, knife... And then it, it explodes. So, and so any creatures within five feet of it, is there anything... <laughs> you are. Within... Are we... I, I threw it. It goes up to 60 feet. So how far was... Nihilus was back there, but... Um, Sarah is within Sarah. five feet. Oh. Along with well, the chair and Well, the just killed Sarah. Siren. <laughs> so, okay. So the chair and Siren um, are going to get hit, too. What what happens, no. though? The what? Uh, it okay, explodes. Uh, so what happens? The hog! There's a, there's a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I'll roll them. Okay. Roll yours, though. Oh, okay, Sarah rolled a 20. That's good. Yeah, you're fine. So, do you take half damage or no damage? Um, or it says um, it doesn't mention half damage. It just says takes two d six cold damage. Must succeed or takes two d six cold damage. So let me roll that. Yeah, roll that damage. Um. Okay, three cold damage. Okay, let me look up Siren. Siren failed. No! <sighs> the puppy! Sorry, I didn't mean to... I didn't know the puppy was the thing. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, didn't Siren... Didn't, 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 you didn't know she was with you? I didn't, that yeah, she I guess was I, that close. Uh, Probably yeah. you didn't realize she was I, that close. I thought five feet was smaller. I, my fault, sorry. It's okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so Siren uh, is Siren okay. is like oh, and is very close to death. Uh, <laughs> save the puppy! Save the puppy! <laughs> she is yipping and yiping and crying and uh, I use a healing potion on her. Uh, it's you can do that on your turn though. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's the half works turn, and he is in dire straits. He sees his buddies try uh, get owned, and he's going to try to leave in a panic. You get an opportunity attack if you want, um, Prodi. Yes. <laughs> All right, I will just try a little. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to got two daggers in my hands. And I don't know if I could do two with an opportunity attack, but nope. Okay. So you would so have had your rod in your hand, and so technically oh, there's right. some action okay. stuff going so. on. But I will say you can grab one dagger and do it. Okay. So strength. Uh, oh, it's, <laughs> I have strength plus zero. I think it's uh, is nine. It dex? For opportunity, I'm not throwing it. I'm just stabbing uh, him, right? No, I, th I, throw I, think, it? I think it's a finesse weapon. So either way, it's dexterity, even when. You oh, throw. okay. So that's better for me. Uh, I get ten instead. Uh, that's your attack. What was your attack? I'm sorry, I was distracted. Nine plus. Uh, my dexterity check is a ten. No, but what was your attack? Like you're trying to attack him with it. What would you roll a d twenty and then did you roll that? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a dexterity check to see if it hits. Yeah, so you rolled a 10? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that uh, won't do it. And he gets away, and he's running, limping uh, away. 
Uh, do you guys want to pursue? Sarah, you're next in the initiative. So there's just one guy left and he's running away. Yeah. Like he's... Um, hmm. Yeah, I... I um, so I want to... Yes, I, am I... Whole, is Siren... Can I do anything to protect Siren, but that would be an action? Is uh, What do you mean? Like, what would you like to do? Tell me what you want to do. Uh, so what I'm thinking is like, can I like like hold Siren uh, under my arms or like come away from, and then shoot my fire breath towards the guy? Uh, yeah, he's already out of range because his movement is greater than 15 feet. Your fire breath is it's only 15 uh, feet, see. right? Oh uh, yes. So uh, let me see if I can. Okay, so I will chase him. Okay. And leave um, Siren. Leave Siren where she is. I will leave Siren, and I'll and I'll he, I'll use my free action to say take care of Siren, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, I will we'll say, chase him. Yeah, we'll say it's a bonus action 30. to put Siren down nicely. Um, okay. Yes. And uh, you chase him, and uh, you can go um, ahead and make your. And I'll get within fifteen feet yeah. of him, and then I'll my thing. So he does a dexterity saving. Fifteen. Okay, so I'm 14. So he takes half that. Um, so I rolled a eight. I think he takes half as much. So he takes half of eight. So he takes full poison damage. That's what you needed. He goes down in a okay. heap and he's not moving. He's done. Yay. And uh, you've got these three thug bodies in front of you. Siren is extremely, extremely injured. Can we... Can we heal him? Do we have any? Sure. I think Niles has some healing spells um, that he's never used before. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, okay. Instead of wasting a potion, maybe if. if okay, uh, um, where's his healing? He has cure wounds, so uh, he's well, gonna. That, do... Just checking. Will that knock it out for when we go? Like, is it a thing that he can do often? Because I would like to save something for when we go. So, so cure wounds will use one spell slot. Wait, let me look at them. Um, I've got seven one... of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he has he has four. So if you if you can do cure wounds and you have, if it's up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll, has... I'll use one. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I've got and healing. That, healing is that light. Just one person. Is, is that just one person on him? One creature. Yeah. Per okay, per great. per bonus action. So you want to okay. heal, use your uh, healing light? Yeah, is it my turn? Yeah, we're out of combat. Well, they're now, all sorry. dead. Yeah, yeah. so you're, yeah. you're good. Okay. So let's see. You have a... So it's a D6. Six. <laughs> yep. Siren Yay. looks... Her fur is, you know, frozen and broke off in places, but she immediately looks better, stops <laughs> whining and crying and... Um, Looks good as new. And um, as that's happening, um, a uh, uh, the gargoyles start to move and come at you guys. And that's where we're going to leave it for <laughs> the week. Oh, great. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys... Darn gargoyles. Um, alerted... You were standing, you were doing a lot of investigating outside the orphanages, so people are going to notice. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, let's do our plugs now. I'm plugging uh, chinchillas. If you can, uh, you can find me on Catherine, not IRL. That's Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, -E, not I-R-L. Um, and if you go to my Instagram, you can see a picture of me holding a chinchilla that I get to spend all of Christmas with. And I'm very excited. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, awesome. Dave. Um, I don't really have anything to plug, but I'll plug uh, crazy rich Asians it was a great movie that I watched last night. Go watch it. If you haven't seen it already. Yeah. Made me feel all the feels. Oh, <laughs> Justin. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a stand-up special uh, this Thursday at either 8 p.m. or 10 p.m. at Oh My Ribs in Hollywood. If you go to my website, justinmatson.com, M-A-T-S-O-N, 
uh, there's more info there. You should check it out. It'll be great. Yeah, we're going. We'll be there. We're all going to be there. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Live reunion. Uh, you can get our autographs. Yes, all of our autographs get them. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this week, we should, I should, I'm going to start a new little short, 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 short podcast thing where if you've seen or heard the podcast, uh, um, Everything is Alive, where they interview like street signs and down pillows and basically inanimate objects. I'm going to do like a parody of that for the D&D universe. So uh, the first episode should start this week. It's going to be called D&D and Everything Has a Story. And the host is going to be, his name is Eunice Zipper, and he's going to be interviewing <laughs> interviewing this the is so cute the Im- immovable rod which you dnd uh fanatics out there should should I gotta know. listen to that one to learn more about rods yeah <laughs> and uh yeah stay tuned for that and we'll see how that goes and uh yeah thanks for watching see you next week at 11 a.m pacific same channel same place same people with Plus Everyone. An additional. Yes. Yeah. Correct. <laughs>